under cabinet light. Open it up. White's gonna be your neutral. Black or blue will be your hot. And you have this punch out, this punch out, whichever one you need. You wanna connect them one light to the power. You just need one punch out. If you're gonna connect a series of lights, you will need more than one punch out knocked out. This here is a box connector. You will feed your wire through and it keeps the wire from getting cut on a sharp edge. Just like such. Take what you call your pigtail. What else we got in here? Ooh, we got a box cutter with no blade. I need a razor blade. I seen one somewhere. One second. Show them on a view of the LED lights on that. box cutter. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna strip the Romex coating back about three eighths of an inch. But do not cut the wire, just the coating. As such, as such. That's enough wire. This one doesn't look too bad. I better cut it. Uh, it looks uh, not too shabby. Cut it back a little. Do it real quick, like for video's sake. There we go. All right, now you can take a pigtail. If the wires are not marked for your positive or negative, there's no marks on either side of this. You can go by here. The bigger one's gonna be your ground, smaller's gonna be your hot. So you can trace that down and match it up to be right here. There, they're supposed to have marks on to identify. We got Mmm, absolutely nothing. One of them's got a couple. Here we go. This one has writing on the hot wire, which is gonna be the smaller prong, which is that one right there. See the writing here? That connects to this prong, and then here is the writing on this end. So that's our hot. Most of them have a dashed line for the neutral or the hot or vice versa. As long as they identify which is which. Now, I'm doing them. There's the writing. That is going to be my hot side. I'll go ahead and get the wire started. The wire nut has a spring on the inside of it. As you twist it, it will coil up the electrical wiring nice and tight in the spring. Voila, it's like that. Now, take the neutral. Do the same thing. Go ahead and get it started. Put our wire nut on there. And we're going to 
twist it up till they get really coiled up in that spring. Just like that, they won't pull out. And there you go. Our pigtail is a basic pigtail. It does not have a ground wire. This box has a ground wire here, which is a body ground, which really needs to be hooked up. But wiring 30 years ago was only a two wire system. It was a hot and a neutral. This ground is actually just another neutral. A little different purpose now. You put grounding rods in the ground to make a body ground, a ground contact. Before you didn't have to, so it will survive without it. It's safer to have it. So now I'm gonna figure out how to snap this contraption back together. We should be like such and such. This is the beautiful LED lens cover. And don't forget to tighten your screws up here on your box connector. moving around keep your connections good inside the box and there's no proper way to hold a screwdriver however it turns so I'm turning it all handicap like right now <laughs> come on there Betsy get up in there there we go ah oh. That looks NEC compliant, everybody. Now, try it out. If it don't work, we'll blame the wife. Oh, baby. Look at that, how fast. Now, you got two of these and, or multiple ones under the cabinet you're gonna attach. All you need to do is knock out here and you connect another wire to the same black, white, and ground. You jump it over here to your next light. You go in that light and you hook up the black, the white, the ground. Now you have two of them that's gonna work in series. And that's all.